Hi, I'm Jocelyn and I help with the youth work at Emmanuel. And today I'm thinking about the importance of hope for young people. In fact, I think hope's so wonderful. We named our daughter Hope. Uh, for many young people, this pandemic has been a really difficult time. They've missed rites of passage they've looked forward to for years, 16th and 18th birthday parties, prom parties, last days at school, and for some even the challenge of exams. And now they face the uncertainty and for some the disappointment of exam results. But our Christian hope isn't wishful thinking. It's fully rooted in God, for whom the future is certain. It's rooted in Jesus, through whom we have eternal life, and it's rooted in the promises in the Bible. And I particularly like this promise from Isaiah. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Now Desmond Tutu describes hope as being able to see that there is light despite all of the darkness. And in the early darkest days of the lockdown at the beginning of April, Emmanuel started a youth alpha course. And we met for the following 12 Sunday mornings over 20 young people coming together to learn more about Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the Bible and the church, to ask questions and to encourage each other. It felt like light and a reassurance of hope in all the uncertainty. And I pray that that will go on strengthening and encouraging the young people as they go back to school and some leave for university. But we all need hope. And I'm going to end with one of my favourite poems by Emily Dickinson. So hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. I've heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea, yet never in extremity it asked a crumb of me. 